AirPods might be the darling of the wireless earbud industry, but today we're looking at the Apple-owned Beats Studio Buds Plus. These things are feature-packed with things like noise cancellation, transparency mode, quick pairing, and more. So let's unbox them and take a look. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever had Beats featured on my channel. I think this is the first time for an unboxing, for a review, for anything regarding Beats on my channel. So this is kind of exciting. Now, as you can see, I do have the transparent version, but they also come in beige and black as well. But who really wants those? Transparent is where it's at. Now, before I unbox them, let me just cover the specs real quick. Starting with the price of $170, you might be able to find them a little bit cheaper on sale somewhere, but in general, about $170 right now as of this recording. These are compatible with both iPhone and Android, which is nice. They are IPX4 rated for splash and water and sweat resistance. They do get up to 36 hours of battery life with the case. That's up to nine hours with the buds themselves. And then you get three extra charges and that's without active noise cancellation on. And of course they do have active noise cancellation with transparency mode and they charge via USB-C, but there is no wireless or magnetic charging for these like there are with different versions of the AirPods. So I guess we should just take a look at them. So we'll pop these guys open. And all right, some pretty basic bare bones packaging, it looks like. Looks like it's all probably environmentally friendly and easy to recycle. We've got this little pull tab right there. Pull that guy out and there we go. Now that is actually pretty cool. This is really kind of a throwback to electronics of, you know, many years ago. I did have the transparent iMacs. I did have a transparent Game Boy Color and other translucent devices. So this is kind of cool. It's really kind of like a retro throwback. And we'll get to these in just a sec. On the back here, we do have a USB-C cable for charging. And inside here, we do have different size earbuds so that you can get the proper fit. And it looks like we have four sizes, probably medium already installed. Now we have large, small, and extra small. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys set up with an iPhone. So these Beats Buds Plus do have fast pairing with both iPhone and Android. So once you open up the case, it should pop up on the iPhone to automatically connect them. So there we go, it should pair them. If I hit connect, we'll wait a couple seconds. And there we go, it's telling us how to control the media. We'll just go ahead and skip for now. It says to end a call, press twice or press once. We'll just say once. We'll customize that later. And done, there we go. So now we are connected to the iPhone. Now with the Beats paired to the iPhone, we can actually take a look at them now. I really am a fan of the transparent case. I do like it. It's got these weird little circular cutouts up top. In here, we have the Beats. Each one is just kind of laying here on its side. And man, it does feel really tiny. Like, it feels like I'm gonna drop it. Looks like there's a button right here, probably for resetting the AirPods. And you can kind of see the little magnetic connectors in here for charging. Now with the case, you can get up to 36 hours battery life with noise cancellation turned off. That's up to nine hours on the Buds, plus three additional chargings with the case. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing about these buds is that if I didn't just pull them out of the right side or left side, I would have no idea which one goes in which ear. I just can't tell from looking at it which one is which. I don't know if there's a little L or R on here. Some Oh, there you go. There is a little R on there right there, but that is really hard to see, at least on these transparent versions. We saw the replaceable ear tips, so it looks like those just pop off and on to replace them, so it should be pretty easy. Well, maybe. There we go. And over here, we have the Beats logo, and this is a button. So this is your play pause button, your skip track button, your answer call button, kind of everything all in one. If you press the button once, it'll answer calls, end calls, play pause. If you press it twice, it'll go to a next track. If you hit it three times, it'll go to a previous track or rewind. And if you press and hold it, it will switch between transparency mode and noise cancellation. So I guess now we should actually try them out. So here we go. Beats Studio Buds Plus. Well, I mean, first off, they feel like AirPods. I guess they don't necessarily look like AirPods without the white stem hanging down, but they feel pretty good. For my first audio test, I'm going to try out a Spotify playlist and listen to some different rock songs and see how that goes. Overall, I found the sound to be quite good. I was expecting to hear a very heavy bass mix, and I did find the bass to be prominent, but also found the highs to be well-defined with rock, metal, and even some pop. I listened with these buds for about two hours after doing this recording, and I did not feel fatigued. I would say that the sound is similar to AirPods Pro just sitting in this room, but overall, they sound pretty good to me. 
Now I'm gonna go walk around the neighborhood and try out the noise cancellation of these Studio Buds Plus and see how that goes. Walking around my neighborhood with noise cancellation on, I found that it was extremely close to what I get with the AirPods Pro 2. They did a good job of drowning out the crunching of the trail under my feet and the sound of lawn mowers and leaf blowers. If I had to give it a rating, I would say it's maybe 90 or 95% as good as the AirPods Pro 2 in my short test. Now, as far as transparency mode goes, I was able to easily have a conversation with my wife with these on with transparency mode. Even with music or a podcast going on in the background, I could hear my wife clearly and it was pretty pleasant to use. Because of the quick device pairing that these support, you'll also find that the Studio Buds will show up on other devices. Now, to get those devices to play on here, they don't support auto switching like AirPods do. So you'll still have to go into something like Control Center and then switch over to your Beats Buds over here if you wanna move them over to this phone. But when you pair these with Android, you do actually get the option of using auto switching with the Beats app. So let's see how we can configure these. We'll go to Settings, we'll go to Bluetooth, we'll click on My Beats, and here we go. Up top, it looks like we can change the name from the Beats Studio Buds Plus to whatever you want. Down here, you can switch manually between noise cancellation and transparency or turn it all off. What the heck was that? Here you have the option to decide what you do when you press and hold on the buttons on them themselves. So you can say, I wanna do volume control by pressing up or down. So you can say, I want the left earbud to be volume down and the right earbud to be volume up when you press it. Or you can tell it to switch between the noise cancellation settings. And that's what I do with the AirPods. So that's probably what I will keep selected on here as well. You can also tell it, hey, you know, activate Siri. If we scroll down on the main settings page, we can select press once or twice for ending calls. Microphone, you can tell it which one to be the microphone when you have both inside your ears, and it's probably best to just leave it as automatic. And then show and find my. So these will show up in your Find My app. However, you won't be able to get the really precise location information like you can with something with a U2 chip, like the AirPods Pro 2. And that's it for settings, but you can go into Control Center and of course control the volume of the earbuds. If you tap and hold, you can adjust the transparency or noise cancellation or just turn it all off. So you can do all of that from Control Center as well. Now spatial audio is something that I don't really like to use on my AirPods but it is available on these Studio Buds as well. It doesn't have head tracking, so if you move your head left and right, the sound won't kind of just stay at one point in space. But if spatial audio is something that you like when listening to music or watching a movie, then these do have that. In my short amount of time with these Beats Studio Buds Pro, there's two issues that I see with them. One is the size of the charging case. It's just, it's pretty large for putting in my pocket every day. I always have my AirPods with me. I prefer the size of the AirPods first, second, or third generation, but even the AirPods Pro is okay. This is larger than the case for the AirPods Pro, and I'll be doing more of a comparison against the AirPods Pro in an upcoming video. If you want to see that, make sure to hit subscribe. But this case is definitely not too big for a bag of some kind for your laptop or whatever else. Just in my pocket every day, it feels like it might just right be on the edge of almost too big, if not too big. The other issue I have is just the shape and design of these things. These things are just small and slippery and I've dropped them a few times on this desk already. I have had trouble getting them in the case and in my ears just because it's hard to figure out what the actual orientation is. Holding these in my hands right now, I am not sure which one is right and which one is left. But putting it in the case is the same issue. If I mix them around, I have no idea which one is which and I try and put it in the case. Now, I might just be stupid, which is very possible. Well, hey, that one fit but I've been having trouble getting them in the case correctly the first time. But anyway, just little nitpicks. Now I will be doing, like I said, more comparisons against the AirPods Pro. So definitely hit subscribe if you want to see those because there's something special with that coming up, hint, hint. But I do wanna know what you guys think. Are you interested in the Stutes, Beats, Stutes, Beats, Stutes, Beats Studio Buds Plus? <laughs> That's hard to say but I do wanna know what you think about them, so let me know in the comments down below. Now, I'm pretty sure you're going to be interested in this video right over here, so go ahead and check that out. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.